Tone coming at you from Big Tone Productions, Beats and Feasts. You know what time it is. It's time for another cooking video. And today we're going to do an old southern favorite. We're going to do fried apples. It's a very simple, easy recipe when you don't have any other dessert. Just simple fried apples. So if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. Let's get started with some fried apples. This is probably the least amount of ingredients you'll probably ever see me make anything with, but it's real simple. For me, I like the Granny Smith apples, so I got two Granny Smith apples. Now you can increment this a little differently depending on how many apples you have, but um, I got a little bit of butter here. I'm probably going to use about a third of a stick of butter for this. I got a third of a cup of um, just regular plain old white sugar. I got some light brown sugar, a third of a cup, a little bit of nut nutmeg little bit of cinnamon that's it guys like I said it's a simple dessert when you don't have any cake and you want something sweet it's a very easy alternative I like the Granny Smiths because they give a little bit of tartness they stay firm a little bit better and um, but I, I do peel mine so we'll get to that here in just a second I got my Granny Smiths here and I like I said I like just I like to peel mine just use a regular old potato peeler and just peel it you can always use a paring knife. I just like the pillar because it looks a little, works a little easier for me. Just peel both of them all the way. Very simple. Just like that. And then we're going to cut them. All right, so I peeled my two um, Granny Smith apples here. So I got this little fancy doodad thing here. It takes the core out. Then it cuts the, the, the apple into equal sections. So you, if you don't have this, of course, you can use a paring knife. That's what my mom used to do, and that's what I do. But I got this, so I'm going to use this. Simple as that. Takes the core out easy. And you got equal sections here. So I'm going to do the other one, and then we're going to step over to the stove. Right, so I'm over here at the stove. I got my... Um, Copper Chef pot here and I put a third about a third of that stick of butter in there and it's cooking up now So we're gonna take our Apples it's gonna pour them right in there Gonna try to get them to all lay flat So we can get a nice even um, cook on them So that's all we're gonna do for now. We're just gonna let them sit in here, start to soften up. And then we'll add the rest of the ingredients here in just a moment. I'm gonna try to flip them all over to the other side of them. By the time I'm done flipping, it's gonna be time to add the um, rest of the ingredients. So. I'm gonna flip these over. We don't want. I don't want. It's up to you, but I don't want my my um, apples to be super super soft. I still want a little bit of that, cr not crunch, but that firmness to them. All right. So we see them cooking up nice here. Now I'm gonna add my two sugars. Brown sugar first, doesn't matter. White sugar, I probably, I'm not gonna use all that white sugar, quite a bit. And we're gonna chop this brown sugar up here, stir it around here and let that get nicely uh, melted down. Then the apples. In some cases, I will add a little bit more butter. We'll see what this looks like when this brown sugar melts down. And I think I am going to add just a tad bit more butter to this. A little bit more butter going in. And I always keep a fork around because I want to check and see how um, soft these apples are getting. 
Oh yeah, they're right where I want them. So it's gonna take a little bit longer. I'm gonna sprinkle my cinnamon in here and we're gonna plate these up. All right, so we're gonna add just a touch of nutmeg here. Just a touch. And then we're gonna add about, just about a teaspoon of um, cinnamon. We're gonna cook this in here nice. Ah, boy, if you can smell this now. So I don't add any water. If you watch some videos, some people cooking fried um, apples, they will add water. I don't do that. I like to have my sauce a little syrupy. So we're going to let that cook for another couple minutes. And then I'll plate these up for you. So as I promised, I'm going to plate these up for you. Ooh, these smell awesome, guys. All right. I'm not going to waste any of this sauce, any of this uh, syrup here. Pour this right over the top. Look at that. Your mouth should be watering now. Alright guys, you know what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for that bite. There you guys go. Fried apples. It takes no time. Perfect dessert. You can make it as sweet as you want it. Or not so sweet. But you know what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for that bite. Mm. Make sure you get that nutmeg, guys. It sets it off. But hey guys. This is a very quick video. Just wanted to show you the old southern staple of fried apples. Hey guys, if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, make sure you share the video. And hey, this is Big Tone signing off. Peace.